Walk us through what you have here. Bananas, good. I know it's good for potassium, but yes. what else can we add there? Well, what's good about bananas is that it delivers um, carbohydrate with fiber, so it's low glycemic. So on this side of the table, we have more of the low glycemic foods, and here we have what we call junk food or higher glycemic. Um, this puts a load on your body, and it increases insulin. So these are the no-nos. These are the good guys. You want to eat a, a predominance of these foods foods that have a lot of fiber, a lot of nutrients, vitamins, mineral naturally occurring in the food. Whereas here, everything is kind of made in a lab, mm -hmm. so you know it's not as healthy. And It doesn't look as pretty either, does it? It, it doesn't. I mean, it's so obvious. Yes, but they try. You know, they try to attract us with pretty colors and, and catchy phrases, but yeah, I agree with you. I think this is beautiful. Zucchini and celery. I was surprised to see the celery out here. What does the celery have? Well, um, it's good for actually uh, decreasing water retention. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. That's good to know. Sweet potatoes are fantastic. Yes, a lot of fiber. The biggest thing is when you're going to have something with, let's say a sweet potato has a little bit of sugar, but with the, the fiber in it, it allow, takes the sugar so it's not increasing your insulin levels. Your body doesn't, it has to work a little bit more um, hard to to metabolize it and then that way you don't have that huge insulin spike and then give you the valleys and peaks um, uh, of glucose.